Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw these arrows. First open a new document, then click on the line segment tool, hold and select the rectangular grid tool. Now double click on it to open the options window. Set the horizontal dividers to 0 and the vertical dividers to 18. Now draw a long and a narrow rectangle. This will be a shaft. And let's duplicate it. Next select the tab shape, then go to the shape builder tool. Now choose red and click and drag to color a few rectangles at once or single click to color just one. And let's do the same with the bottom shaft. Next we'll color all these transparent areas with white. Switch to the selection tool, select the tab shape, now choose the shape builder tool and select white. Now click on all the transparent areas. And this is what you should get. Next we'll draw a tip and a fletching. Go to the rectangle tool and select the polygon tool. Single click on the artboard and type 3 for the sides. Now let's rotate it and resize it. Next we'll add one anchor point to the side and reshape it. First switch to the Add Anchor Point tool or select it from the toolbar panel and click on this path. Let's move it over here. Next we'll smooth the corners. Switch to the Convert Anchor Point tool, click on the anchor point, hold and drag. While dragging your mouse, press and hold down the Shift key to constrain it. And move this anchor point to the left. Let's copy this part, we will use it later. Next we'll draw a fletching. Press the letter M for the rectangle tool and draw a small rectangle. Then select the shear tool, click on this path and while holding down the shift key drag your mouse to the left. Next we'll mirror this part using the reflect tool. Press the letter O for the reflect tool or select it from the toolbar panel and while holding down the ALT key click on this path to set the reflection point. Choose the horizontal axis and click copy. Now select both shapes, go to Pathfinder. If you don't see it go to Window and select Pathfinder and choose Unite. Next move this part up, align it to the center and bring it to the back. And move the tip part to the front. Now let's add a tip and a fletching to the bottom arrow. First copy this part. Now select this anchor point and delete it. Let's rotate it and move it here. Now select this anchor point, move it to the right, resize it, rotate it, place it at the end and bring it to the back. Now select the bottom arrow and let's group it together. And do the same with the top arrow. Next select everything, open the Align panel, make sure the Align to Selection is checked and choose the horizontal Align Center. Next select the Align to Artboard and choose the horizontal and the vertical Align Center. And finally if you would like you can add a background and text. Thanks for watching, bye bye.